In this video, I will show you how to use the SQL Tracker feature of Toad for Oracle. The SQL Tracker tool can show you background SQL statements that Toad sends to the database. As we know, almost every action you take in Toad translates to Toad sending SQL statements to the database. This is what SQL Tracker can show you. To start SQL Tracker, go to the database menu, monitor, and click on SQL Tracker. A SQL Tracker window will appear. Highlight Toad.exe and then click on the green play icon. SQL Tracker is now tracking or monitoring Toad for Oracle. I am going to adjust the window position so that we have a better view of the two applications. Now as a demo, let us do something or anything in Toad to see what Toad is sending to the database. Let's open a schema browser window. As you can see, SQL Tracker shows you all the SQLs that Toad sent to the database in order to populate the initial screen of the schema browser window. In this case, the Tables tab. Now if we go to the Views tab, it now shows you a trace of SQL statements Toad ran in order to populate this tab. The output window shows you the timestamp, the query statement, and the elapsed time. Now let us try to diagnose why not all tables seem to show in the schema browser tables tab for another user. I am currently logged in as the Scott user and I want to view tables owned by the HR user. I am now going to select the HR user. Assuming we know the HR schema should have more tables than what it shows here, why is it showing only a few? There could be many causes for this problem, but one could be due to privileges issue. So let us get the SQL Tracker trace output. I am going to select a different schema first. And then I'm going to clear the output screen in SQL Tracker using the clear output icon. This way we're tracking this particular action only. I am now going to select the HR user again. And SQL Tracker now shows the SQL statements Toad just ran. You can run this output in an editor window to see how it behaves. In this case, the editor displayed the same tables. If you want to further check by running it in SQL Plus, we can go to the editor menu and choose Execute SQL via SQL Plus. SQL Plus also shows the same results. Since three areas now show the same results, this may indeed be a privileged problem. If you don't have access to a DBA user, or if you are not a DBA, you can send the trace output from SQL Tracker to the DBA of the database you're connecting to, and then ask that person to further investigate on the issue. Now to test further, I will connect as the HR user and run the same SQL query I got from the SQL Tracker output. This would also be a good time to show what Toad is doing in the background when you make a new connection. It looks like Toad runs a lot of SQL during connection. Remember, this time I'm connected as the HR user. As we can see here, more tables now show in the data grid. This can further validate that this may indeed be a privileged issue when using the Scott user login to view HR's tables. This ends this video demo on how to use the SQL Tracker tool. 
Please note that although SQL Tracker has the capability to track other Oracle tools, Oracle only provides support assistance when SQL Tracker is used with the Toad for Oracle program. Thank you for watching my video.